Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you a micro dissolution of ethanol to ethanol and then we're going to finish off with a Tom's mirror test. So if your school doesn't have all the fancy quick fit glassware, you may have just used a um, boiling tube with a delivery tube which will where be the, where we'll be the, um, condensing and send that into a test tube. So here we have the quick fit glassware set up for the distillation. Um, I have the fancy heating doodah that I can never remember the name of, the pear shaped flask going into the adapter here with the thermometer at the top there so I can check the temperature. This is the condenser, you need this end here attached to the tap and then the other end has to go into the rather dirty sink. Then this end here we have um, the delivery tube into our boiling tube which is going to be our water bath at the end. So when you do this, when we're just turning on the tap here, you can see the water starting to flow in the condenser. You want to get the condenser, try and get it as full as water as possible so the whole thing is cool inside. The idea of this is that we have cold water coming in this end and that will condense the um, gas that's given off when we um, heat the mixture here. It will condense the warmer water will come out this end and then hopefully we'll get liquid dropping off over here. So for this we are going to be oxidising ethanol. So I have my oxidising agent um, cooling in a test tube in a cold water bath here. This is acidified potassium dichromate and I've got my ethanol here. What I'm going to do now is very very slowly, drop by drop, add the ethanol into the potassium dichromate, swirling after every single drop to make sure that it's mixed properly. So everything's set up ready to go now. Here I have my uh, mixture of um, acidified potassium dichromate and ethanol and there are a few anti-bumping granules in there. I've got um, my uh, condense on, thermometer in the top here so I can check that it doesn't get too hot because this is quite a delicate experiment. And then it's all that patience, you just need to wait for a bit for it to start um, evaporating and condensing. So a big part of Ayla Chemistry is patience. It's been about 10 minutes now and you can start to see some condensation forming on here, but um, nothing as yet has made it up this far. So it's been about 20 minutes now and we can start to see that we've got something condensing up here. Now what we need to do is get enough so we can move along um, the tube and then end up in our test tube. Here we are going to be testing for the presence of ethanol. This is Tonian silver mirror test. In the um, beaker here I have 5 drops of sodium hydroxide of silver nitrate. I'm just going to add dilute ammonia just enough to completely dissolve the precipitate. So we can see it's dissolved a little bit. Give it a bit of a shake. Still there. So I'm going to add a bit more but not too much more. There's still some brown precipitate in the bottom. Shouldn't take many more drops of dilute ammonia. Nearly, nearly there. Okay, so we can see that all of the brown precipitate has now dissolved and that is a clear colourless solution. We're just going to warm the solution gently for a couple of minutes. So now I have the ethanol that I've produced. I'm just going to slowly add um, 10 drops of this one, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to my solution and we'll see what happens. We can see this is turning a very dark black colour. I'm just going to wait a bit and see what colour it goes next. So after a few minutes, the walls of the test tube are now coated in this 
silvery mirror solution. You can see the black liquid in the middle there has some silver flecks in it and the whole of the outside of the test tube is now a mirror. Very nice. Ethanol can be turned into ethanol where we will have the OH functional group being replaced with the O connected with double bond and then a separate H. This is turning an alcohol into an aldehyde. Here we have a partial oxidation going on. We know that when we're doing this in a practical situation, we need to use acidified potassium dichromate so that we can turn an alcohol into an aldehyde in our partial oxidation reaction. We are going to be changing the oxidation state and the colour of the chromium and we're going to be turning those um, acidic hydrogen ions into water. We can easier show this by using an O in square brackets as an oxidising agent. If we put it up here next to the um, compound, we can see how the oxygen will take away those two hydrogens with acid as a catalyst and take them into water. If we want to check for an aldehyde, then we can use the Tollin silver mirror test and this will only work with aldehydes. This is one way we can tell the difference between an aldehyde and a ketone. The aldehyde will give a positive result, showing a silver mirror, whereas the ketone won't. Here is the reaction for what's going on. And we can see it releases silver ions. And this is what you will actually see when you get a positive result in this reaction. Ouch. Mm, I'll be too crammed.